which is nice. U8 meaning how many per pound, typically, 8 to 12. We got two soft shell crabs that I'm going to be doing up. Pound the sea scallops. And we have got a massively, massively thick tomahawk ribeye steak. And I'm going to be doing with these with some mushrooms and some onions, some Bernays sauce. And I'm going to sous it first. And then I'm going to finish it either on the Blackstone or in a pan. And this thing looks gorgeous. We're going to put that in to cook it towards medium, which is going to be medium, medium rare. Because it's so thick. I'm going to put that in there for an hour and a half to two hours. Then I've got our shrimp peeled. And then on top of the scallops here. And our soft shell crabs. I've got some Wondra flour in a bag. And we're going to put this all in together and shake it up and make a little bit of, I think it's called frito misto. After shaking that up in the bag with the Wondra flour, you could throw it on a rack for about an hour. I even got some jalapenos we're going to throw in there. Mushrooms are in and ready to go. Let that alcohol work its way out and let this stuff reduce and then we're going to pull it. Continue to fry up the shrimp, the scallops, and the jalapenos. And soft shell crabs are coming in next. Our seafood is done. Look how delicious that looks. We're going to just put a little parsley. And what I did is I took them out after I fried them. And I basically put lemon juice, garlic, olive oil, and butter in a pan. Sauteed the garlic a bit. And then I put these bad boys back in and I sauteed them a little bit. Fantastic. So the surf is done. And now we're going to wait for the turf. This is one big piece of meat, guys. One big piece of meat. Because so we're going to take our nice size shoon and we're going to slice right down the middle of this guy. Oh, right along that bone. Look how beautiful this is. Oh. Oh, delicious. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these fatty parts off here. See how that's cooked beautiful all the way through? That's part of that sous-vide. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to take this guy and I'm just going to cut it right across the board. Smells good. Sell the, sell the steak sauce. What's hilarious about it is that they don't usually put it on the steak or people usually don't. What they do is get a nice thick slice of tomato and onion and you just drizzle it right over the top of that or you get the nice thick sliced bacon and you use the, the Peter Luger sauce on that. But it is very good. I think it's got a little flavor of cocktail sauce but of course Peter Luger's is good all the way around. So I think it's one of our support group we're in, Sippy Cup Adventures, said that you could uh, never go wrong with a ribeye steak. And I think uh, he is, Darren is absolutely right. So we got our Bernay. Call me crazy guys, but I like to finish it off with a nice beautiful duck egg. And here we have it, the uh, second part of our surf and turf, the turf. And when you go in, you could just break this beautiful. If you never had a duck egg, I highly recommend them. They're delicious. Got a lot more um, 
nutrition than a regular chicken egg. And I love when that yolk gets down into the steak meat. So I just kind of bust it up on top of there. All right, guys. Bon appetit, as most say. And have a great night. Thanks for all your support. And if you haven't, please subscribe down below. Thanks again.